Good morning. I am Jan Triplett. I am doing one of the tutorials uh, at the conference, and my focus is on strategic alliances. And I'm really excited to be meeting with some of you who are usability professionals because I happen to office with one of the best ones in the whole country, uh, Laura Faulkner. And one of the things I have learned by listening to her is how important it is to make it easy for people to do things. So I have really tried to focus my tutorial on strategic alliances on doing just that. And I want to tell you a little bit about why this might be a good thing for you to think about coming to on the 21st. And that's because you're probably three quarters of the way doing it already. This is not something necessarily just for big companies, or you may, although you might think about it, uh, because you're probably familiar with you know, the, uh, the Milk Board's uh, strategic alliance with uh, Oreo cookies. <laughs> Got milk, and what do you see? You see the Oreo cookies. But it doesn't have to be just a big company, and it doesn't have to be just on sales. You can use it for career development. You can use it for uh, boosting your education. You can do, it, uh, do a strategic alliance for lots of good, good reasons. But if you do it the right way, it's going to have a better chance of being successful. You're going to get more out of it, and so is the ally or the alliances that you set up with. Why do people not do them? I have two big reasons that I have found and that I'm going to talk about in this tutorial and work through with you. <clears throat> One of them is because it seems very complicated. You have to do all these things and how successful can it be and, you know, I have enough on my plate. And as I said, really, probably you're doing a lot of it already. Some of it is what we normally refer to as networking because in a strategic alliance it can go all the way from a simple friendship all the way to a joint venture with someone uh, or with a company. But you're probably doing most of the effort right now and it's better to do it in an organized way to make sure that you're avoiding the pitfalls. And I'm going to be talking about that and helping you put together your own process that matches your style. The other reason that I see that people don't do a strategic, st strategic alliances as well as they could uh, is because they're shy or because they have a hard time asking for help or asking or finding the right people because it very much is how do you put together a unified presence. A strategic ally is somebody who's like you and who you feel comfortable with and they feel comfortable with you. And when you are doing that and you don't feel really comfortable about what you're asking for or who you are because you haven't thought it through, it's much more difficult. It really should be an easy, enjoyable thing with huge, huge benefits. And that's what we're going to be talking about at the tutorial. And I want to learn from you what are the issues that you as a usability professional are struggling with that you could really use an alliance. I also want to talk about when are the opportunities that somebody comes to you and says, would you be my ally? Would you do this with me as a joint effort? Because you need to know what are your criteria for being chosen. Not only how do you choose, but how do you do the other side if somebody approaches you and says, gee, you're really great and I'd love to do this project with you. Will you work with me? How do you make sure you're on the right track and they're on the right track? And then how do you make it come to fruition to get the goals that you had in mind at the beginning and go forward? A strategic alliance can be short-lived or it can last a lifetime. It's your choice, but it's a lot of fun and I look forward to meeting you.